going through the barley today. We're going to harvest it. This little patch of barley that I've got here. It's a windy day, so it's good for winnowing. Bad for audio. That's how it goes. But the barley is really looking good. Totally dried out here. Totally ready to go. You can look there closely. I think you can probably see the little purple seeds in there. Yep, this is the Tibetan Hollis Barley from Adaptive Seeds. I don't know if they sell this particular one anymore. This is I bought years ago when Nikki and I were farming together and then um, we saved seed for it. So today I'm gonna harvest uh, these heads and process them. It's a nice amount. I'm gonna get more than the handful of seeds that I planted. I mean, the literal handful. I'll show a picture of that. So the next step is threshing. You've heard of threshing and winnowing, probably. Threshing is where you break apart the seed heads. You break apart these. I think this is called a spikelet. And so what we wanna do is we wanna break all this up. Threshing is basically removing the seed from the head. Now all of this detritus will still be together, with the seed, so we'll have to separate that later. That's the winnowing, but first is the threshing. And a really good way to thresh things is to stomp on them, actually. Okay, so I've done a pretty good job here. We'll take a look at where this has gotten now. See how there's really not little bits of heads still stuck in there, but most of the heads are now broken up. You can see all the seed floating around in there. Now this is, you know, mostly not seed. So, you know, how do we get rid of this? Well, there's lots of different ways of winnowing. We're gonna try, since there's a good breeze today, we're gonna try um, a method where we pour it from bucket to bucket in the wind and see how that works. So you always wanna use a clean tarp or be inside on a very clean floor when you're doing this kind of work. Because as we're pouring from bucket to bucket, we could make a mistake or there could be a gust of wind or something and then some of the seeds could accidentally fall out and be on the ground. And if they fall in the dirt or in the grass or something like that, you're gonna lose them, they're gonna be hard to find. So always do the stuff on a tarp. It's called giving yourself room for swap. Just always give yourself room for swap. Farming, a lot of slop. You need a lot of room for slop with a lot of farm tasks. It's just not precision work. So I'm gonna start pouring this from bucket to bucket and when you pour things from bucket to bucket, you vary the speed at which you're pouring and you also vary the distance from the bucket you're holding to the bucket that's on the ground, depending on the wind speed and direction because you want to blow away the lighter stuff, the chaff, and you wanna keep the seeds. You want the seeds to fall down into the bucket and the chaff to blow away. You've heard of, you know, separating the wheat from the chaff. That's exactly what we're doing here. Well, not exactly. We're separating the barley from the chaff, but you get it. Okay, so this is much cleaner than it was. Now the ratio is, you know, at least half seed. And at this point, what's left over are these chunks here that weigh about the same as the seeds. So they're falling down too. So I need to stop and break these down a little bit more. I'm gonna get some gloves to do this because they're kind of sharp. I use the gloves to break it down a little bit more. It's definitely broken down more. So we're gonna give this a try. So with a 
small amount of seed like this, the easiest way to finish it off can be to put it in a bowl and simply blow on it to get the duff out. And the more shallow the edges of the bowl, the less steep they are, the easier it is to blow them out and leave the seed behind. So I decided to finish this batch that way. This is looking pretty darn good now. And this is for seed, not for cooking. So this is probably clean enough for seed. So I'll put up the picture again, showing how much seed we started with. And you'll be able to see how much more we have now. So yeah, the idea here was to grow out enough to have a, a decent crop next year. Wherever that happens to be. But yeah, there it is.